I am currently stealth parked, and as you saw from the timestamp, I am uploading the first part of the evacuated from the forest due to forest fires video. So this will be the second part. And I'll keep you updated on this evacuation nonsense once the... Well, it's not really nonsense, right? I mean, it's important. But um, once the video is done uploading, I'll also show you there's a website you can access to track the forest fires, see when they were last updated, see how big the acreage is, and also see how, like what percentage of containment they have on them. But I'll take you guys through that, but I need my phone to not be uploading a video in order to do that. So see you guys in a little bit. And then I'll show you my parking spot. This cargo trailer is not super stealth, you know, with the air conditioner and heater and the big vent and the windows and all that. But you know, I guess you could consider it stealth parking. It's my first time. <clears throat> so before we walk through the website to see what's going on with the fires, Robert just informed me that the town we're in does not have very good um, street parking laws. So we're a little concerned that we might not be able to park where we're at. So what I'm gonna do is try calling the police and going, hey, these are kind of extraneous circumstances. Can you cut us some slack? And I thought I would record that. So if anyone ever comes into a situation like this, you can kind of see how this goes. Let's hope it goes well. It's always good to confirm what street you're on before you call. You've reached police and fire dispatch. If this is an emergency that requires immediate police, fire, or medical response, hang up and dial 911. This is the non emergency response line. Please listen carefully to the following options. Need the Clackamas County Jail or are checking the status of a person who has been arrested. Please press 4 now. If you need Clackamas County Dog Control, press 5 now. For questions about civil processing, concealed weapons permits, or the. I hate to bother the wrong people. Please hold for the next available dispatcher. Calls are answered in the order they are received. Please be prepared to give the dispatcher the address. Hey there. Um, I work up on Mount Hood and we just got evacuated because of the fire. And I was wondering, uh, I'm, I have out of state plates, but I kind of need to park on the street just for the night until we get updated protocol, I guess. Is it okay? I'm on uh, South Billy. Street across from like Joel products. Is it all right if I park as here? As long as you're not illegally parked, ma'am, and it's, uh, you know, it doesn't have like no parking signs or anything like that. Oh, yeah. Fine. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. didn't see any signs, but I just wanted to clear because another one of the camp posts checked like your website and it said something about non-residents on over on streets, overnight parking, and I just mm -hmm. don't want to get in trouble. So I wanted to like, I guess, tattle on myself. <laughs> well, you're, are you going to be leaving the vehicle? Are you going to stay with the vehicle? No, I'll stay with the vehicle. I mean, I might go for a yeah, walk, yeah. but otherwise, like, yeah. overnight, I'll be with the vehicle and whatnot. Yeah, then you should be fine. Okay, so we'll be all right. Yeah. All right, I really appreciate your help. I'm sure you're super busy. <laughs> no worries. Have a good day, ma'am. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, generally, the police are going to be super helpful. And so I feel more comfortable just calling them. As you can see, dispatch was really friendly. They didn't really even care where I was or what my plates were or about the situation. They have bigger fish to fry. I was thinking considering this town is so small, they wouldn't have bigger fish to fry. Uh, but it sounds like we'll be all right here for the night. So that's really exciting. Yeah, I think the wind is a huge component to how bad this is. browser and there's this website inciweb dot nwcg dot gov and then we're gonna search incidents mount oh autocorrect mount hood and turn number six what the fuck? 
Why are you taking me to Badlands? So this is a typical government website from the looks of it because it doesn't want to follow what I'm telling it to do. No offense to any of you government computer programmers, but the websites work like shit. And done. Oh my god. Okay, so let's just move to the map because the search bar sucks. And here we are. Where Warm Springs Reservation isn't too far from where I was. So you can see all these little points of where fires are. Let's see if we zoom in a little bit more. Ooh, you can see how big and expansive it is. So for this one, it's a wildfire. The last update was 12 hours ago. It's 513 acres. This one, even though it's going, maybe the, okay, this one was updated five minutes ago. Seems to be closer to where I had to evacuate from. It was updated five minutes ago. 17,507 acres, 70% contained. White River. The cause was lightning. Sorry if my hand's shaky. I had an extra cup of coffee. That was probably a, it's a tremory idea. Uh, 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 uh. To ensure public and firefighter safety, areas of the National Forest are closed. And there's a problem with air quality. So, all right, the cause was natural for that fire, which is nice. I mean, not nice, but better than an idiot, you know. Um, uh, taking 809 personnel, 70% contained. In the southwest portions of the fire. Oh my God. What's not helpful and probably, yeah, here, red flag warning today for strong northeast winds and low RHs. The strong winds kicked in after 1 p.m. and strengthened toward the end of the shift to gusts of 30 miles per hour, blowing dust and ash from fires in Washington, limiting visibility to less than one mile. Red flag warning through Tuesday evening for winds going up to 30 miles per hour. And then, uh, oh, here's a smoke update. So this website's pretty ha uh, helpful, I would say. Seems like a good time for all these lung issues. <laughs> all right. You can see there's a shit ton of fires, though. Look at that. These are all the fires that they're reporting right now. Yeah, California is getting nailed. One of you guys said you're in Colorado with smoke in the comments of the first video, so there's all your fires. There's Denver. If you can see that, I hope this comes through on video okay. Utah's got some fires. Idaho's got a shit ton of fires. California's getting nailed, of course. Uh, Washington's got a bunch, and then down here into Oregon. That brown means they're not putting it out. Since I am forced to be in town today, I figured I would walk over to the hardware store and pick up the final products I'll need to complete my solar power project. And this will also give you guys a little scope of part of the town. Cicaplex. Uh, what is that? It's like a, almost like a roof and cock, 
like RV cock if you put a hole in a RV and then you gotta seal it. Okay. Hey, excuse me, really. Just the yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know where it's at. Here. <laughs> okay. Um. Maybe with like the spackle. Okay. Is that over this way? Yeah. This way. Okay. Your dog got like a weight or what? <laughs> yeah, she likes carrying a one pound dumbbell. I don't know. <laughs> I yield to her, you know? Uh, so essentially, I have a cargo trailer conversion and I'm about to put a hole in it to feed uh, solar power wire through. Okay. So I need, like, once I get that wire through, I need to be able to waterproof and seal right. that hole up. Is it like a caulking sort of? Yeah, it should be thing? like almost like a caulking thing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Oh, this is probably foam. more where we're looking. <laughs> yeah. So, um. Yeah, that one's clear. Oh, wonderful. Sweet. I'll just get all of this and be extra prepared. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, no problem. Come here, baby, baby. Hello. Oh, hi, So you can't really hear the dialogue because of the wind noise, but I apologize for stopping the officer and then explain I already called dispatch and they said it was fine, but I want to confirm with you that I can park where I'm parked overnight because we're evacuated and he was cordial and That's confirming. Said, yeah, you're fine. It's a cargo trailer. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. You too. I could see it and I've been watching it all, all day. All right, to sign off this second video update, which now is quite, quite long, uh, the update is that the fire that had us evacuated was not on that website I showed you guys. Uh, one of the managers for our company contacted me the fire was only like two miles away from the campground that I'm at and it was right next to where Robert was so thank God Robert parked in my campground last night um, and I'm surprised they didn't evacuate us sooner considering it was under five miles away but that explains why it was so smoky and it's indeterminate when or if I'll go back to work. It depends on if the fire eats my campground because it's really close to where I was. So hopefully all the little critters of the forest are okay and I hope all the firemen are okay, of course. And I'll keep you updated in a third and hopefully final post on what's going on and I hope it has been interesting and maybe helpful so if anyone's like what do you do if you're boondocking well the fire people go around with a loudspeaker or they try and hit up all the camps or you want to use common sense if there's so much smoke all around get out of the fire get out of the forest um and if you're in a campground, then you'll definitely be alerted to it. 
So I'll keep you all posted as things continued. And thank you for watching video two in We Were Evacuated Because of a Forest Fire Saga. Thanks so much. Oh, and Riot's licking her crotch. All right, see ya.